Okay, so kita akan fokus kepada best ini mesti sikit. Okay, ini mesti sikit. Ah, similar to the hydraulic sikit. Okay. The difference adalah there are no written line used because the exhaust air release to the atmosphere. Okay, maksudnya saya mentionkan tadi lah. Okay, apa yang membezakan? Satu adalah no written line. Lagi satu adalah no input device. Macam pump is shown. Because the pneumatic circle are centralized compressor as the absorb of the energy. Okay, so dia tak ada pump. Okay, dia ada simbol untuk source sahaja. Okay. Okay, contoh ni macam ni. Dia simbol untuk source. Okay. So, dia tak ada uh, simbol untuk pump macam dalam hydraulic. So, the circuit number one is the control of the single acting as linear. Macam mana nak control the single acting? This one adalah single acting uh, cylinder. Okay, and the, the written flow is accomplished by compression screen located at the work end of the cylinder, this one. Okay, macam mana dia nak uh, retract? Untuk retract, this spring akan tolak the road. Okay, when the push button valve is actuated, the cylinder extends. Okay, so when awak press the push button, Okay, this DCV akan shift to the this position. Okay, you can refer this one. So, this is the to this position. From the source, okay, the compressed air flow and then lalu ke uh, FRL untuk filter, regulate and untuk lubricate. And then baru dia akan masuk dalam DCV. So, the flow through the port 2. Port 2. And then dia masuk kepada uh, cylinder. And then, dia akan extend. Okay. The cylinder retract when the wall is deactuated. So, lah. Bila kita deactuated, kita release the this, release the push button, the spring akan tolak balik di sini ke this position. Okay. So, and then, kemudian spring dalam cylinder, sebab dah, dah tak ada pressure, spring dalam cylinder akan tolak balik untuk Uh, the compressed air okay dia akan uh, when out to the atmosphere kita ada needle valve needle valve 1 and needle valve 2 untuk control the speed of the cylinder extension and retraction stroke okay okay next adalah control of the double acting and cylinder okay okay this is the symbol for the double acting kita ada FRL This is the source and this is the 5-2 uh, DCV, push button. Okay. Double active cylinder require 4-way DCV. Okay. And the activation of the push button was extend the cylinder. So this one, this is the, dia dalam retraction mode. Okay. Sebab dia punya ni kat sini. So uh, for this one, dia terus ke atmosphere. Okay. And then bila awak press the Uh, push button, the DCV will shift to the this position. Okay. We uh, refer this figure. So, they shift to this position from the source flow through the FRL and then they are come to the uh, port 4. Okay. Then, kat sini, they akan extend the cylinder. Okay. The speed of set mode for the cylinder to retract under the air power. Okay. And then, this spring, bila awak release the push button, this spring akan tolak balik di TV ke this position. Okay. And then, refer to this one. And then, the cylinder will retract. Okay, next adalah indirect. Control of the double acting as in the indirect. That means kita tak direct terus. Kita control. Uh, indirect means... Uh, the extend, extension and the retraction of the cylinder controlled by the pilot actuated. Okay. Okay. Uh, describe what happened when the push button is pressed and released. Okay. First, bila awak pressing the push button and then releasing it, we allow the compressed air to enter the system via the port 2. This one. A pressure will then activate the 5-2 DCV moving it into the left position. So, 
sekarang awak dah start dia punya source ok and then bila awak activate the bila awak tekan this push button, uh, this push button the DCV akan shift to this position ok so that's me dia akan flow via the port 2 ok and then dia akan activate the DCV so bila dia activate DCV dia akan tolak DCV uh, to this position so that's me now the air compress air akan flow to sini so dia akan extend the cylinder so macam this one ok uh, once the file to DCV in the left position compress air will enter the double acting cylinder through the blank end hence extending the piston, piston root so this one lah Tadi awak dah tekan, so dia shift to this position. Dan this one akan, the pilot uh, the pilot operator ni akan shift 5 2 to this position. So that the compressed air boleh flow. Masuk to the port 4. And then cylinder we extend. Okay. Okay, uh, once the piston root is the fully extend. It will mechanically activate the roller operator 32 DCV. So this one. So tengok dia punya simbol kat sini A kan. So bila dia fully extend. The this road akan sentuh. Uh, simbol A ni adalah this one. Dia akan sentuh the uh, roller operator ataupun we call it switch. Okay bila dia uh, sentuh this one. That's me. Uh, activation of this DCV will then allow the compressed air to enter it and then push back the 5 to the TV into the right position. So, bila dia activate this one, asalnya dia in this position. So, bila awak activate, dia akan change to the this position. Okay, macam ni. So, dia, bila dia change to this position, okay, compress air akan masuk. Okay, so dia akan uh, tolak balik uh, the 5 to the TV to the this position. Okay, dia akan tolak balik to this position so that's why dia jadi macam ni so bila dia tolak balik ke sini compress air yang ni akan masuk ok compress air from sini ok dia masuk so dia akan menyebabkan linear ni retract ok so this one once the uh, file to the TV in the right position compress air we enter the double axis cylinder through the road end hence retracting the piston road so this one lah. So dia akan retract. Return to the initial position. Okay for this one. Saya akan continue dalam uh, video part 2. Okay that's all. Thank you.